On February 27, 2010, an 8.8 .8 earthquake rocks the coast of central Chile, twisting apartment complexes, buckling freeway bridges, and leaving thousands homeless. It is the sixth largest earthquake ever recorded. It triggers a tsunami that devastates several coastal towns in south central Chile. An estimated 525 residents are dead. This is the building that uh, well, they hosted the, the newspaper. And this is the way it used to look before beautiful and uh, colonial type architecture. And this is what it remains from it. One year after the disaster, assistant research professor Maria Garrido and PhD candidate Beth Patan traveled to Chile to evaluate the role librarians and telecenters played in the recovery process. Their report, Disaster Response in Chile, is published on February 27, 2012, exactly two years after the cataclysmic event. The research project is funded by Microsoft and the Global Impact Study, a project co-funded by Canada's International Development Research Centre and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Information and communication are critical in everyday life, more so in moments like that. But the mobile networks were down, there was no way to understand or know what's happening in other countries, where, in other counties, where is your family, where are your friends, where do I get food, where do I find assistance. So information and communication are just vital in moments where the social fabric has been completely shattered. Despite the obvious challenges, the local libraries and telecenters played a crucial role in helping people find food, shelter, and family members. They also provided social spaces where people could gather together to talk about what they had just experienced. The emotional aspect of it is quite yeah, relevant. Absolutely. And, yeah. it's, it's, you can't heal as a community if you're not talking and sharing and, and kind of empathizing yeah, of with everybody course. else. Public access to information and communication technologies is very ingrained in Chilean society. So we wanted to understand in that context what role they play, not only the role of accessing the computers and the internet, but the role that the people that work for these organizations play, which is a very important thing to, to note. The tragedy in Chile hits close to home for Beth Patan. She was a librarian in New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina watching New Orleans kind of rebound those five years, it was pretty amazing to see the same things happening in Chile. I mean, they spoke different languages, it was a completely different place, different political context and everything, but really the role of the people stayed the same and the role of the libraries was very similar. So it was just, it was kind of refreshing and it let me know that I'm on the right track, that libraries really are information first responders and that we really do play vital roles.